You know what grinds my gears being a videographer? What? I'll tell you after the intro. <laughs> Working for yourself, you get a lot of freedom, uh, but sometimes some of that freedom comes with uh, people trying to wind you up. <laughs> sometimes it's clients, sometimes it's the people you work with. Sometimes it's yourself. <laughs> yeah, Me? Nor- normally yourself. <laughs> uh, I guess we kind of wanted to take this opportunity to have maybe a little bit of a rant yeah. and some of the things we encounter that, you know, maybe grind our gears and maybe how, you know, you can better navigate them yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Big one. What, was, what were we just saying before we got on camera? I know you were saying, or we were saying, <laughs> basically when a client asks for a deadline oh, and oh, you work yeah. really hard to yeah. get oh. that to them yeah, and you send it over and they go, oh yeah, I'll look at that next week. You what? You you what? I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. So I busted a gut to get this to you. <laughs> oh, it happens, and it'd be one of those where like, oh, I need to get this done. So I need to move this, or delay this, or yeah. stay up late to do this, or not go out family late. or something like that. And they send it over, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at it Monday. And you're like, like, so I could have had those extra three or four days, or whatever <laughs> yeah. it is, and and would not have to stress now or something or like that. When they give me <clears> a deadline to deliver it. And I deliver it when they say, and then they don't post it for another two weeks. And I'm like, <laughs> What's that well, they've approved it, right? Yeah. yeah, we just need these final changes. Okay, yeah. can you get that done today? Yeah, okay, I'll I'll do my best. Yeah, I'll yeah. do my best. I, I tell you what, <laughs> I'll just shuffle my, my schedule my around life. a little bit. <laughs> just, you know, not quite my life. A bit dramatic. <laughs> and get that to you. Oh, that's great. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. And then they don't post it for two weeks. You're like, what was the point? There was, there was, there wasn't, the point? Yeah, there wasn't that urgency. That's really, well. that, that's really frustrating. Or you tell them that, you know, you give them a lead time and they say, well, you know, it's going to be a couple of weeks because, you know, I've got the work on or, or, or even longer, yeah. however busy that may be. And then within three days, they're like, uh, how, how's that looking? How's that going on? I yeah. always find that. They go, how's mm. the edit coming along? Like, I just do a little bit at a time <laughs> yeah. and then leave it for a bit. Yeah. I don't know about you. Or but do like, they like, expect it to take like three weeks? Like, I'm sitting on it at, for three weeks yeah, every that's it. day. Do they think that it takes several days? I don't know. Mm. I'm, I'm curious about that now yeah. because the amount of times I get asked, how is it coming along? I was like, well, if I start in the morning... <laughs> With most of my projects, at least, I can have it done by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So it's always weird. Yeah, how's it come along? Uh, so well, uh, I only showed it three d- three days ago. Um, I did say that it'd be a good couple of weeks because mm. of you know schedule, yeah. which they're fine with at the yeah, time. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe they just get excited. Yeah, they they, they wanted to see it because they're like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. It's plenty of time. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, don't, don't worry. worry. Just don't, I don't want you I to rush. I know you're busy. I, I know you're busy. You got things. To I don't do. want you to rush. <laughs> but can you rush? <laughs> can you can I have it by tomorrow morning, please? <laughs> yeah, <Thanks>. yeah, certainly. <laughs> one thing I'm, I'm gonna say i think this might be the worst one for me of all time now, oh. but to be fair it probably won't be bad for you but i get frustrated by it because i'm quite particular so i will double triple quadruple check things are recording what the right settings won't yeah I? yeah yeah and i can understand if you're being filmed you're like for god's sake it's, it's done and then they'll they'll i'll get people go oh, all right come on just start filming and i'm like yeah oh no I'm like, yeah yeah but imagine if i didn't do those triple checks or yeah. whatever, and God forbid something went a bit wrong, wasn't quite right. And we had to reshoot it. I'd reshoot, or it'd be questioned or something. And luckily enough, yeah, obviously I've done it that many times. Like I do, I, I consistently do it, that check multiple times. I don't really have any issues go wrong, um, issues arise or whatever. But imagine if it did. Then yeah. you'd be like, well, wish I hadn't pushed it. Yeah, I now. don't think uh, that's a, an expectation from the client that they think that you're going to be set up. I mean, for me, it's when... And right, let, let's just be clear. It's down to us to educate people, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is not this person is or that client is bad for saying these things, but it's just kind of funny how that works when they have an expectation of, okay, we'll give you 20 minutes to yeah. get in and set up. And I'm like, 20, 20 minutes? No, no, no. Not about, just, just about built my camera. Yeah, just about maybe unloaded the car and had a look in the location by that point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they go, they give, they ex- have an expectation of, of set up time. And I think, you know, they don't do this for a living. So we need yeah. to educate them. Yeah, but that's good. That's joke. something I, I kind of do when I go back on the next show. I yeah. say, look, you know, I understand you've put down half an hour for set up. <laughs> We're going to need more like an hour to an hour and a half, especially yeah. if, it, you know, it's a big talking headpiece or a podcast. 
So that can that can get on my nerves a little bit because they're then they're, they're thinking that you're being slow, like you say. Yeah, and yeah. Like, you're not. You're like, well, why is it taking so long? It's, why? why you just want to make sure it's right. I I did um, uh, work for a company and did a lot of regular work of the same thing, and uh, every time I went and and every time I did it, it took the same amount of time. Thereabouts, I was very you know um, on the ball about checking and making sure this is right. All oh, the little thing here, mm-hmm. and one of the guys that I did it a lot with, he actually turned it into a bit of a positive when we worked with new people go um mitch is really good because he's so particular about right, he yeah. makes sure he checks this you know it's really good this is right blah 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 because he's so on point about checking testing moving things accordingly yeah and and you know that, that was a good thing it got to that point but obviously initially it was a bit like yeah comments. Think- but then that was nice for him to say that because yeah. i think that shows professionalism about that job and taking you know uh priority that um, you know, quality is just takes time. Yeah, and you can totally see that the extra time is reflected in the production. Certainly, the projects we're working on together. You know, some of these talking head pieces we're getting in there we're looking at the location where can we set up the camera where's the best angle mm. you know that can be like 20 minutes yeah, just yeah. deciding that the person's going to sit there we're mm. going to have camera on there and then you put them in place go oh that's not quite working yeah. uh, and that is definitely reflected in how much better i feel the projects that we work on together yeah. have looked just by taking an hour and a half to two hours i mean yeah. sometimes in this studio yeah. when we're setting up we could be Hmm. certainly when we changed it right we spent a good probably three hours that day getting everything in place and right and then we look at the back of the camera go oh actually maybe Mm, not maybe that's a little bit hot there yeah Yeah, yeah, overexposed but yeah i think uh but as i say, i think that's down to us to educate clients on how long things take but yeah they certainly have an expectation that could be way off and it it is a bit frustrating but yeah like it's down to us (laughs) yeah i think this one kind of comes with smaller clients and I know we mentioned this in a previous episode, but where they contact you at first and just go, how much for a video? <laughs> and you're like, okay, what sort of video would you like? Can you give us more details? Yeah, it's a promo video. And you're like, okay. <laughs> um, so have you got any examples of other things? And then they send you something that is clearly a 30 grand. <laughs> yeah. If you can just replicate this Audi video, please. Yes. And uh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, how much is the budget? Oh, well, we've got about 500 pounds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I think there may be some, you know, maybe talk about movement in the budget yeah. or we scale it back. <laughs> yeah, just lack of, again, this is down to them not really having uh a and clear idea easy, yeah. and also never hiring a videographer yeah, before yeah. and if you want to know the type of questions that you ask a videographer and need help with that there's a video up here which all uh which what was it called tips hiring a videographer yeah. you know uh, i think it was quite a popular one and that'll run through in a bit more detail the type of questions you need to ask but back to the <laughs> subject uh yeah it's it's generally the smaller clients i think for me when when a, a company or a client has had video multiple times they kind of know those questions don't yeah they? yeah got one word for you gav yeah ghosting now i know it's everyone hates it and it's within every industry isn't it you know? my worst one yeah it just uh, it, it's the frustration of not no necessarily knowing where you are like a lot of it is because potentially you're out of budget or something or, or whatever it's not we're not suited however just let us know yeah. So we can then move on close and quick. Cre- oh, I feel down. anxiety creeping into my chest when <laughs> yeah. you said ghosting. Yeah. Because it is literally that. I think people are a scared of hurting your yeah. feelings. I think I think that too. Because I like, oh, don't the, want that altercation that potentially yeah, could be if they think it's going to be there, but there is a confrontation. They kind of think that it's going to be there. Most of the time you're like, oh, okay, yeah, fine. no problem. Hopefully you find someone who's a more suitable fit <laughs> yeah. and inside you're like. <laughs> yeah. But what goes along with that as well is. Um, ghosting they're like yeah out of budget and that stuff but a lot of the time if they just had a conversation yes say this rather than going well out of budget that's the end of it or they could go to be fair mate bit out of our budget is there anything we can do yeah exactly we could go yeah is anything we can do maybe we could scale in this back scale back yeah or what what, you know a lot that's it never um top tip never never drop your price because you will feel resentful oh, I, like you do yeah, I, I have that <laughs> i won't not go so to much that. anymore but i it, it, i still do don't get me wrong yeah but um i'm definitely leaning and in, in, in going out of that but really. you can to to get round you know like if they haven't got the money just say say they want you know 
two, three deliverables of a video, a six minute, a two minute, a 30 second. Yeah. And maybe just to say, well, maybe we could the six minute edit out of that. And maybe we can just go in with, you know, a, a one to two minute mm -hmm. video rather yeah. than giving you like... Or, the, the, or the, the standard of the video, the quality or like what they're expecting. Because, um, you know, like, for instance, reels. Yeah. They're a thing that I struggle to gauge, to be honest with you, because I I class a, a reel like that we would potentially look at doing as like impactful, loads of energy, like plenty of work go into it. But some people just want a guy to have high quality talking end reels or something yeah. like that. And some people will go, here we and it runs along the same of like having a vague brief, doesn't it really? Mm. So they might go, Oh, well, this is what I think you want. And yeah. then they go, Oh no. And then no. they ghost you. Yeah. But really, if they got back to you and had that conversation, you jump on a call and discuss it further. Yeah. You go, oh, like, actually, you're not wanting that. And then it, it fits in budget and it's... Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think it's just uh, one, they're just scared of having confrontation, scared of hurting your feelings, uh, when really, most of the time, yeah, we might be a bit gutted that they're not going to go yeah. with us if we're out of budget, yeah. but then we might be able to solve their problem exactly. by just in, just in the, 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 the brief. Yeah, yeah, and, and see where we go from there. Yeah. Uh, late invoices... <laughs> I don't struggle with it that much. I know a lot of people stress about it, and I do. When you work for yourself, you're not on the salary, right? You're relying on someone else paying you. And if you've done that job and delivered it, then if they're not delivering that on time, it's like, well, okay, I need that. And I've only had one where it was that. No, two, actually. Two. I had mm -hmm. one client who was late. We parted ways. We parted company because she was treating me very badly. And it's the first time that I've ever sacked off a client. And no need to mention names because I'm working for them again because that lady's left. <laughs> and it, they're a great company to work for, but she was a bitch. <laughs> she was a, a, a vile person. She was difficult, right? Yeah. Um, and you know the story. But yeah, essentially, I told her that I was following some passion projects and needed mm. to drop some regular clients. I was very professional about it. and said, unfortunately, you're one of those. So I didn't mm. make it sound like she was the only one. <laughs> Uh, and there was an outstanding invoice due and I'd still got to do the edit, did the edit, delivered it in the time that she requested and then invoiced and the invoice was late. So I chased her and she said, yeah, it's been sorted. And I chased her again another week or so later. Yeah, you'll be paid when you paid. Stop messaging me. And I said, well, you're my only point of contact. Like yeah. I need to message you yeah. if things are late. And then she blocked me on WhatsApp and I never, I never heard from her again. <laughs> What? I got it resolved by going to higher management. They got in contact with me and apologised, and she no longer works with them anymore. But that's, that's the only time. All. That's the only no. time. And one of the guy he was about three months when I've got like generally no more than thirty days, and he was three months. It was three months. Three months on a simple drone job. Yeah, and the thing is, me in that instance, if it was, it would, it wasn't just an individual. That cash flow is as it comes in. Mm. That. Sounds like it was a bigger company to oh, some yeah. extent. International, that, yeah. You, oh well, it, for instance, you know what I mean. And as big as we like to think we are, that's probably a drop in the ocean in regards to just getting that paid. It's not yeah. like when well, I've got to wait until I get paid to then pay you kind yeah. of thing. It's, yeah. it, it was there to be done, and it's again not her money either. No. So she was withholding that back because she got a little bit sour about the fact that you weren't in a position to work with them anymore. No. Yeah, and I was glad because I felt so much better. You, that, the phone used to ring, and I'd just be like. Oh. Panic stations. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh no, I don't, I don't want to answer that yeah. because it was that bad. But yeah, no, generally late invoices for me are few and far between. My mm. clients are mint. Do you get many? Um, I don't really, to be honest with you. I still struggle with the 30 day lead time on some of oh, the bigger yeah. companies just because um, I'm so used to thinking, well, it, it leads to that right then, got a job in, got it signed off. Yeah, we're going with it. Wicked. I'll get paid that this month. Yeah. Like, no. Your budget for <laughs> so it. So my budget in my Excel, my Excel, what is it? Um, Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. What are you? What's this? Nineties. <laughs> I have got, what, what's the um, Apple version? Pages. pages. Pages, yeah, pages. Anyway, I've got a little sheet at home. Say, oh, my job's coming. Sheet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just, you know, I like, I like a little, little I just write in my phone. <laughs> Money to come. <laughs> yeah. Or it's just on my invoices. But yeah. do you know when you just kind of, I like to tally it all up and I think, oh, yeah, I'll get that this month. And oh, then it I'm leads loaded. over to the next. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and it's just me really, I really struggle to go, oh, 30 days. Yeah, I've it's a long time, isn't that. it? Yeah, to think about, oh, well, it will come in 30 days and the money comes in, it's great. And then, uh, but I just, I still struggle to this day. I think if it. everyone was 30 days, once you're in that 30 day payment cycle, yeah. then it's fine, isn't it? Because yeah. you're getting paid constantly. Yeah. But it's the bigger companies that have multiple people to pay. They don't yeah. want to be doing your invoice one day and then another invoice the other day and three yeah. the next day. They're just basically put out a day. 
This is when we pay everyone. They spend the day doing that. And it's a good site. If you've got companies doing 30 days, you're normally working with bigger companies, right? Yeah, yeah, true. So, you know. <laughs> it's, it's one of those, isn't it? <laughs> Entrepreneur dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going to before o'clock in the morning doing three workouts before 6 20 stop me stop making me feel irrelevant <laughs> <laughs> making yeah. me feel insecure i'm just not a good enough person. yeah you know full well that they probably <clears throat> did that on an afternoon after laying in bed all day yeah and just like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna motivate the shit out of people and get some likes and follows and then when in reality they're not doing that at all yeah. uh just the the they call it toxic positivity I'm right. Uh, and Sounds because right, I know, but you know, me, I'm really, I'm a really positive. Every cloud has a silver lining. Look at it from a different perspective if it's a negative situation. But I do struggle with some of these dudes that I feel like they're just putting it on for social media. Yeah. And then when you're having a shit day Aww. and they pop up in your feed with, Actually, and sometimes it's not that. Some people are just really good at what they do. <laughs> I was just thinking that's like, you see a sick edit, out. and you're like, like that car one with that guy that I just followed the other day. I was like, oh my god, that's epic! Mm. You piss off. Yeah, you're a wanker. Don't, <laughs> yeah. don't ever talk to me. Don't talk to me. How dare you be that yeah. good? How dare you've been doing it longer than me <laughs> yeah. and probably put in more time? Yeah, yeah no, or, or, yeah. But back to the the, the entrepreneurs. That guy, what was mm-hmm. it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know his name, but he keeps popping up in my feed because I'm probably interacting. Yeah. I've... Uh, me and my wife, we get up at 4 a.m. and we're on the treadmill yeah. meditating together in our mind palace. Oh, my God. I'm just like... Oh, oh there's, there's a guy that... um, Yeah, look, he does well. Sure, you know, he's very much... Who is he? I can't remember his name. He's some American dude. He's like skinhead, big beard, big dude. Look, he's a millionaire for sure, and he does really well. But he's got is that whole mind thought of right then. I'm up at four o'clock. By the time it's seven o'clock, I've done three workouts. Yeah, and I've I've made twenty thousand um, dollars before eight o'clock. Before I've even eaten my breakfast. Yeah, and exactly. it's like, and if you're not doing it, it's kind of like, well, and, and how I, I, do I, I do I, it? Do you know, like the ones that get me, the young lads. We're not that young. We're not like you. We're young. We're not. No, 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 middle aged. Middle aged. Um, the young lads. Yeah, it's not easy to make a million pounds. Oh, I've seen that one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's making the 10 million pounds at the heart. I'm like, it's not easy to make a million. Fuck off. Yeah. Maybe not if your dad's rich. (laughs) It's going to say, if you've been given 100 grand capital to make 200 grand, sure. Yeah. But not, you know what I mean? When they come out with that, making you fucking, it's easy to make a million. We'll try not to swear too much. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. My bad. (laughs) Bleep, bleep, bleep. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. The thing is, I didn't want this to be too, too ranty. And I don't want us to look unprofessional, but like the amount of podcasts I see, like that wedding one where they're talking about all the things that wind them up, they seem to do really well. (laughs) But it's that connection because I think a lot of people get wound up by some of these generic things that we've probably spoken about. Yeah. And it's just. And it is a a way to commute, like connect with yeah, people because exactly, people exactly. go, yeah, that winds me up too. <laughs> I hate that too. So yeah, maybe. Maybe it's not that bad. I think we kind of hesitated talking about pet peeves because it was just like, well, is that too negative? But essentially, it's seen the funny side of it, though. It's just because that's what it is. If if you're not found it funny, sorry. (laughs) Keep scrolling. (laughs) I'm dying to say it. What? Suck a dick. Suck a dick. (laughs) Sorry, it's a little bit of a thing between us. What was it? (laughs) Oh my God, I haven't made that any better, have I? Oh, good dick. <laughs> Maybe you should sign up. Right then, yeah, I guess I guess that's the end of that this then. One. This, oh, well, that one, yeah. I guess that's the end of that then. Gav's gone. I've scared him off a little bit. Um, yeah, you know, we'll see you next week. Hopefully he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>